Reuben. Reuben. Let's draw a sandcastle together. You want to? Yeah, you do? Okay, great. Let's Reuben, go. Are you ready to draw? Okay, so let's do this together. We're going to draw the sandcastle. All right? So you just have to focus on your craftsmanship, and we can work together, and we can draw this. Okay? All right. So let's, you just try to have to get this pencil in your hand, in your paw, and then you can start drawing. All right, everybody, we'll be back and we'll show you what we came up with, okay? All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, artists. Ruben and I drew this and I'm gonna trace it because he's a little tired. His paws are a little tired. So I'm gonna trace it to show you what we came up with. <clears throat> and then you can make your own castle with your art partner, whoever you choose in your family. And, or you could each do your own and put them together. So let's trace these. So the first thing I did was I made a horizon line. Only this time, just like with the seahorse drawing, um, I put a, a ground line for where the bottom of the, or for the sand. So this is the sand. And then there's another line, and this is gonna be the water. So this section here is the water, and then up here is sky. And now the first thing you're gonna do is draw the line where you're gonna kind of start your how tall you want your castle to be. So I'm gonna put it here, and then you're gonna just be doing straight lines. So I'm gonna go down. Remember how I drag my wrist? I keep my wrist straight, and I just drag my hand down to make that straight line. Drag it down. That's yeah, a nice shape. And like this is good practice for the summer when you do sand castles at the beach. So then you're gonna make some straight lines going up like this. Then you're gonna make, it's not really zigzag lines, but you're making kind of angly lines going up, over and down, up, over, down, over, up, over, it's the little kind of the battlement of the castle. So then I'm going to draw the next line going down like this and the next line maybe I'll make it a little straight they're coming down like this and then I will draw how you get into the castle. So kind of the entrance and remember I can erase my pencil lines when I'm done tracing. So I'm going to do that kind of angly line I'm going to try it on this side yeah huh. now notice I've got some flags to let everyone know this is Castle Roxbury rocks Castle Roxbury Where all the kings and queens go to school. Rocks. Now the cool thing is, is you can add perspective. So it kind of looks like you can see the, some part of the um, entrance of the castle by just adding a curving line. So it kind of creates this kind of cool perspective. I'm seeing the I'm seeing it a little bit inside. Cool. Now I'm going to erase all of my pencil lines. Do I like this eraser better? Let's see.
in the how-to, it shows some details, some different things you can put to really make it look like a beach sandcastle. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'll show you what I colored. And when I color it and add some more details, like maybe some like shovels, maybe some, some shells, um, so maybe you could even do some buckets um, and maybe show the texture of the sand. Remember we talked about texture last time with the seahorse and the, and the ocean floor. Um, you're going to add that to your drawing too. You could even add, huh? You could even add some creatures. You could have a seahorse on the sand. Maybe it was just taking a little break before it went back into the water. It's up to you how you want to make this drawing. And remember, you and your partner, your art partner, are working together so you can come up with ideas on what to add together. And that's the fun thing about working with someone, right, Ruben? Because Ruben was a good art partner. He was really, he was really excited to learn how to draw a sandcastle. He loves the beach. All right, artists, I will see you later and we will share each other's work. I can't wait to see what you do with your art partner. Bye.